Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I have a little bit different of a video, but like I, the name should inspire, I like to cover everything, and this is more of a fashion thing, which is a little different, but I do kind of like watches, and usually I get cheaper ones, but when I saw this one, I wanted to do a video on it, because there's very little of these Akribus watches on YouTube at all, and there's basically none on this. I did find one where the guy used the band for an Apple watch, but there really wasn't a description at all of this watch. So let me open up the box here. And I have used this for a while, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It really isn't an unboxing, it's just that's how it comes. Uh, let me get the name right. This is the Akribos XXIV, which I assume they mean 24 by the Roman numeral. AK265SSB men's uh, Swiss uh, stainless steel mesh band so it's kind of like all the details now but that was the model number of it and another thing about this is for some reason most of these come in just like a cheaper looking velvety pouch that has that but this came in a nice fake leather with like the soft I really like the box it's actually really nice and I like the box almost as much as the watch so I like to put it back in it to protect it but so it's just held in like that. And from what research I did, it seems Akribos makes basically like high-end looking watches of pretty quality, I should say a good quality build quality for affordable prices. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty professional. Let me just set this to the side. And you get this envelope if you want to do the warranty, but you can also do it online. And then you get this fancy packaging, which I mean, this is well beyond what you'd get with like a generic Walmart watch. So you get like that red or warranty registration card if you would do it by mail. And then you have the instructions, which I'll touch on. And then this is about their two year warranty. And I'll actually come back to these in a second. Oh, let me. And I this watch caught my eye probably about a year ago or near that. I really like the uh, Milanese loop on the uh, Apple Watch. I just thought it looked really nice. And when I saw this in a cheaper watch compared to how much the band itself is, that this watch was like half the price of the Milanese band, I really liked it. But I saw the reviews and so many were bad. I was kind of skeptical. So I looked around on eBay for a while and found this with a, uh, returns available on it. So I decided I like, really couldn't lose, so I would try it. I really like the look of it. Let's see if we can get the focus here. It's kind of unique looking. I really like this band probably the most. With this clasp on, which I also touch on that. And according to this, it's uh, water resistant and it tells you like on the instructions like how deep that is I think that's aside from their divers watch this is the second deepest so you can basically submerge it but why do so unless you have to it's a chronograph it says sapphire coated crystal and after a little more research that means it's not an actual crystal or sapphire crystal glass it's the mineral glass but it has a sapphire crystal coating which I guess that's good enough and it says all stainless steel which is another good thing because usually the cheaper watches have the stainless steel back and then I guess this casing isn't and I would assume the band's also stainless steel and the clasp does say stainless steel so I would imagine probably it's all stainless steel which is nice it has uh, quartz it's a battery it's a uh, it says Swiss quartz so I guess it's like the cheaper kind where they have the good movement, but it's made in like China or something. But that does mean that the movement should be good. And to me, it has been. It really hasn't lost any time yet. And I think that's where kind of like how these watches are marketed. They have some of these higher um, build feature, build quality features that you wouldn't see in a watch at this price. But I guess since they're probably made in China or something, that's how they get the prices down. But they have the ridiculously high markup prices. This is around $600. Yet it goes on a realistic retail on Amazon and eBay for like $60 to $100.
and with the chronograph it basically like I didn't even know what that was until now but I like the uh, dials in the middle functional dials and the extra buttons here on the side but basically what a chronograph is is just a stopwatch so if I press that then this will do, it's kind of just like a digital stopwatch but with analog clock face it's unique and then that totalizer will go with the minute every time that goes around for up to 30 minutes and then it restarts that's about the only defect as you can kind of see with this particular one although it works perfectly it's not completely aimed at the 30 and there is a way to recalibrate that but it still it never lands perfectly it lands perfectly on the other so maybe it's a either that wasn't printed on right but it, a very minor defect to me and you have the date here and then you also have the date there which I don't like how it was copied twice I guess I just wanted to have that extra dial there but I would rather that have been like the day of the week or maybe another chronograph feature like hours or something but you can see now how it ticked over and then if you hit this it's like a split time or something so then whenever I press it it'll jump to where it see and then if you pause it then it resets and that's very cool looking how it just spins real quick so if you never use a chronograph that it's kind of unique and if you show people if you're someone that wears an Apple watch or something and then you wear something like this you know a lot of people probably won't even have a clue how something like this works so I set the time you pull this out twice the farthest and then to set the date you just pull out to the first notch and that's also how you can set the chronograph because I noticed it was incorrect and I thought mine was defective and I've also seen these being sold where they say that when they reset they don't come back to the proper time it would be found on this page so basically if you read that then you know how to fix what some sellers would consider defective and you get a cheaper price There's the thing of the water resistance, so mine will be good up to 165 feet. It just tells you that. But this is the most important one. So basically, to recalibrate this, you pull the uh, crown out to the first position for the date, and then you press the top button, and it'll make your seconds hand spin, and then you stop it where you want. And then you press the bottom button and it'll make the minutes hand shows up there and then you can recalibrate them and then when you press the crown back in they'll just go to these spots and i'm not going to do that because it's i already have them perfectly on there but then another thing people say is how to adjust this and at first it did seem kind of hard so what you do is you get like a little fine flat head screwdriver and you would push this and pop it up and then you slide it press down on that and that, that's kind of hard on your fingers you really got to put a lot of pressure I haven't really noticed it slide around much and this band was actually a little bit bent and if you see the pictures on the internet almost all of them are kind of bent and some people I think return them because of that but I took this clasp the whole way off and just kind of twisted it and somehow I was actually able to get the bend out and it really hasn't come back maybe a little bit on the end but not as bad as it was so that was an easy fix and lastly the clasp people were saying how flimsy it was and that it didn't hold up so I just got a pair of needle nose pliers and kind of bent these little tangs or whatever you call in so now they're a little bit harder to snap into place because there's a little a hole and then like a little or a groove and then catch a dot that catches in it and if that's loose then your kind of whole clasp doesn't work but if you bend them in a little bit then it gives it a new strength and some people also couldn't put this on if I can demonstrate it without so there's a little bar here whether you can see that or not and then there's a hook and it basically just hooks on to that and then now you make sure you get that under this bar you hear that and then that finishes it off and now it's on nicely 
and then you can just keep doing that and then you take it back off and adjust it until you get a tight fit and you also get this Acribos logo on there as well which is kind of a brush stainless so hopefully it being brushed instead of polished it won't show scratches because that's one thing I really don't like is how this one the band goes underneath which I thought would be uncomfortable but it really isn't there it'd be a little bit nicer but it looks better appearance wise being underneath and then you just take it back off because it's kind of the reverse so that's how to use that clasp because there's actually people that said they really didn't understand it so there's that and then to address a few other um, problems people had some people said that these were very rough and they had to have them filed down mine were completely smooth but the, some of the out, outer edges were a little rough so I just had a file on my Swiss Army knife it's probably the best file I have I just went around it but if you're really particular you might just want to take it to a jeweler and they could probably do it more professionally but I just kind of went over a few scratchy spots the worst and the, what should be the most important finished area is this it looks nice on this side but this is the side that makes contact with your skin and you can see how there's those bends in it which is very cheap looking for a watch that's they mark up to six hundred dollars I really don't like that and a lot of these are a little uneven and they can pinch your skin because this is what's pressed right up with the other part of the band over top and I did try and file these down and I really don't have any discomfort but that's another thing so I and then someone actually said that these um, bands fell off and you can see where they're like welded together here or at least I assume maybe pressed together but if that would happen instead of just saying the watch is useless you probably could re-weld them if you were good if a weld or maybe solder would hold or you could just simply try some super glue or JB weld but they seem pretty sturdy in my case I think a lot of people get defective ones just because of how they're manufactured even though they use all stainless steel a nice really high quality movement that that's not a Swiss made but it's Swiss parts I think that they just kind of ha save the money in the uh, manufacturing of it and where it's done and that's probably why there are some random ones that just have weird defects but in my case I got a really nice one and a few little defects I was able to correct on my own and you can kind of see I really like how it just almost sparkles like it's diamonds it's just how the whatever metal they used for the hour marker is just visually reflective and I really like that look I also wanted to mention this watch has like the I don't know if that's called like luminescent or I think some people call it tritium but this isn't the kind that naturally glows it has to be exposed to light and as you can see it's pretty faded so you can see I actually had to stop and aim a little bit more light at it because it was starting to fade out that quickly but like I said I don't think this is that tritium stuff that's in divers watches that actually just stays luminescent on its own this you have to expose it to light and it doesn't last very long it is pretty nice just to have that because this is more of a luxury watch so it's really not something that's needed but it is a nice little feature I know I went kind of long but if you subscribe to me you know I like to uh, in my reviews pretty much cover every detail possible some people would watch a four minute review get an idea but then in my case I have so many more questions so I like to address everything that as a viewer I would be wondering if I saw this it works really well I think it's only lost maybe a few seconds I said it about two weeks ago for daylight savings time uh, my uh, wall clock that's quartz it's pretty much on par of it and I think maybe it only lost a second or two one complaint I have is when you pull the crown out and turn it the hand the minute hands a little bit flimsy so when you press it back in it's kind of hard to get it perfectly lined up which I like it to be perfect to where this ten dollar Walmart watch has a really nice that's one thing I really like is it has a nice stiff you know it, it just does, it does there's no wiggle room to where this one has a little bit uh, I actually got another watch that was just, uh, really bad that it was so loose it would just fly all over the place when you press it in but this isn't too bad it's, it's uh, if you, I don't know if they're all like that but it's pretty easy to get around and like I said it keeps really accurate time I don't use the chronograph feature that much they there everything works nicely
and I did want to do a longer video just because, like I said, there's almost no videos on these Akribos watches on the internet, and I wondered if that was a name, but it apparently is the Greek word for exact, and then the Roman numeral XXIV24, so I guess it translates to exact time or something like that, so that's kind of a neat little tidbit. And I would personally, if you like this watch, I would personally invest in the Akribos brand because they have a lot of cool watches for affordable prices. And even if they have like the sketchy build quality of some of them, just make sure to go on eBay and buy it from a seller that offers returns because there's a lot of these priced really well because they were like the new store returns that probably no one even put them on. And they just didn't like something about it and to take it back so you can get a good price. So if, I, if I'm wearing this in future videos, you'll, there'll be this video here so you can know what it is. Hopefully you found this interesting, and I might do more watches, it's kind of got me into timepieces, it's really nice. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and you'll see me in the next one, so have a good one.